Okay, everybody, this is Robert Whitekelt with EXP with another episode of Whitekelt Wednesday. And I'll tell you what, it just keeps getting better. Uh, we've, got, we've got Tracy Gagnon on the phone. Let's just get started. Who's Tracy? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. It's such an honor to be a part of, of your podcast here and such an honor to be, you know, EXP Realty Proud. Uh, Reader's Digest, same struggles that most people have, you know, born growing up in my house faced a laundromat. You know, every, I, I love the line from Evita, you know, I felt like I had every, every disadvantage you need if you're going to succeed. Um, I got a full ride to many universities, including Baylor, where I studied education. So apparently I enjoyed being poor. Um, I bought my first house. My realtor was a total and complete idiot and she made more than I would make an entire month. And I thought, wow, maybe I should pay attention here. Yeah. So, um, one Friday night, I, I would spend my weekends at Barnes and Noble reading books that I couldn't afford to buy. And one Friday night, I stumbled across a copy of Tony Robbins, Awaken the Giant Within. And, um, it was, uh, I start, I was crying by the end of the first chapter. And, um, the book was $14 and I had $21 till payday. I bought the book and life has never been the same since it started in real estate. Um, I was century 21. I went with them because, you know, at the time they were number one in the, in the United States, number one in the, my marketplace, number one in the world just seemed like the place to go. This was back in the 1990s, um, opened up my own franchise after a couple of years, grew that to the fourth largest in the United States, sold that six weeks before the crash. So I got to see everybody else's houses burned down and businesses burned down while I had cash in my pocket. And, you know, Robert, I got to tell you, I look at what is happening now and all these agents that are so excited about the multiple offers and all the money that they're making now. And I keep saying to myself, you know what, it's 2006 all over again, right? Mm -hmm. So those of us that have been down this path know what's coming, um, but most real estate agents have no idea. So, um, you know, may you live in interesting times, right? Yes, absolutely. It's, yeah. uh, you know, being in, being in the business 35 years, I've seen a few ups and downs myself. Sure. Owned a Remax, great brand. I uh, was uh, yep. in management in Keller Williams, another great brand. And uh, I, so I've been, I've seen the REO market of the 90s, participated yep. in that very heavily. Uh, fast forward to the early 2000s, the REO market was, came in hot. And I tell you what, that we're, we're going to experience that again. And that's, right. again, that's a different conversation. But let's right. fast forward, you're with EXP now. How's that going? Well, you know, I'm glad you asked. I, I was eventually recruited over to Keller Williams. And I was recruited the year globally for them in 2012. And so I had this really romantic idea about what profit share would look like, right? <laughs> and in my Ooh. first year with Keller Williams, I think I recruited 53 people. And three years later, that had morphed into 55 people. <laughs> I, I never saw a check big enough to make my mortgage payment. A lot of months, it was less than 100 bucks, right? So almost immediately, my idea of what profit share could do for me was crashed, and I was back in production. So when I was introduced to EXP, I was introduced by somebody that didn't even have their real estate license. And, um, and I, I just felt like, you know what? <laughs> I, I'm, I had just resigned myself to living that hamster wheel forever. Does that sound familiar? Yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all I could ever see. And then I saw EXP. And what I did is I ran my numbers through Keller Williams, uh, through the EXP model. And instead of making a couple of hundred bucks, I'd have made about $15,000 that month. And I thought, well, maybe I'm onto something here, right? So I joined EXP when there were less than 900 agents, uh, version territory in the marketplace that I was in. And, um, but I went to work because I understood that it was the only shot that us real estate agents had of becoming financially free. I mean, that's the magic of this company is that, you, you know, you hear great things about Century 21, Kelly Williams, Remax, but not a lot of people can say those companies changed their lives. EXP changed my life. And you know what's interesting? I, I and, that, and that's, that gives, I, I don't know if you can see it, but I, I got just got goosebumps. Yeah, I got goosebumps on that one. That's, that's, uh, and you hit the nail on the head. I've never, I, I do uh, agent calls all the time and not one agent that I've ever talked to said, the current company I'm with has changed my life. It just doesn't come up, right? but it comes up just about every single time I talk to an agent at DXP. So huge, huge nugget there. Yeah. Uh, but I, what, I, what I really want to point out is 
you went to work. Right. And my number one saying, it works if you do, no matter what it is, yeah. put in the work and make it happen. So you've done a great job with that. So with that said, Thank you. and I know there's many things, I'm sure we could be on here for hours talking about all the things that inspire you with the XP. Let's try to sum it up to the, maybe the top three things that EXP has done to help you change lives? You know, that's a beautiful question. Um, so, you know, I was a theology major at Baylor. I was a, a, I, I, then I went into teaching. My whole life really has been about how can I help other people, right? So the thing about EXP that's so different is that there's only one way to succeed with EXP, and that's to help other people succeed first. And, and I, I don't know of, of many other companies that are out there. I tell people all the time, listen, if a better opportunity crosses your desk in any industry, please, please send it to me. I would love to take a look at it. You know, I will never, ever, ever say no to looking at something. I, I just, you know, it, it's like saying no to a free meal, right? When somebody, when you go out to dinner with somebody and they say, no, let me treat. And you say, no, 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 I'll pay. You don't need to. I think that sends a message to the universe that you're closed to receiving, right? Well, so when opportunities come our way, the most intelligent people always say, yes, I'll take a look at it, right? Now, for most people, the, the reason that they join EXP is because they're going to make more money in their traditional real estate business. So, you know, number, number one, I only win by helping others win. Number two, most agents are going to make so much more money in their traditional business. And truthfully, that's what most realtors are looking for. They're not necessarily looking to build a residual income. They're not thinking about retirement. They're not thinking about creating a better life for their family. They're just thinking, well, how do I go from making $100,000 to making $140,000, right? So for those agents that are short-sighted and that are just looking to make more money next year, it's almost an inherent yes for them too, because of the compensation structure that we have, you know, sure. plain and simple. Um, and then the other, num the number three reason that I think EXP is such a game changer is because it allows you multiple ways to earn money doing the things that you're going to do as an agent anyway. So when I joined EXP, the stock was trading at 64 cents a share, right? Uh, today we were at, I think, $49 and change. However, uh, let's see where we're at right now. Uh, right now we're at $47.18. However, the stock split in February. So that $47.18 is more like what, $94, $95 a share, right? And I got it at 64 cents a share. So EXP has this really cool deal where instead of paying a franchise fee, like we paid at Remax and Century 21 and Keller Williams, instead of paying a 6% franchise fee, you can take 5% of your commissions and buy the stock at a 10% discount. So if you give your money as a franchise fee, it's a guaranteed loss, right? With EXP, for many of us that have been around the block for a while, it's been a massive one. Take so advantage. Have an open mind and take a look. Well, Tracy, I tell you what, this has been absolutely a pleasure. And it's just always so good seeing you. Always so good chatting with you. Love the book. Yeah, Great so you stuff. can go to you can go, go to buymillionairemindset.com and please buy lots of copies. It is specially priced mm -hmm. for the first 30 days at a whopping $3.99. Look at all those copies. I got them from my I got them from my whole team. And I Thank uh, you. it was funny. My wife goes, um, your your book came in because she ordered it on her Amazon Prime. Oh. And then all of a sudden, a whole nother envelope came oh. in. Yay. And I, she's like, oh, they sent it to you multiple times. I said, no, I'm buying it for everybody I know because this uh. is one of the best books I've ever written, written. I tell you what, my highlighter is running out. I'm highlighting. You have so many nuggets in here. So I encourage everybody watching this, go out and buy The Millionaire Mindset for Real Estate Wealth. Thank it's you. It's great. I will put the link in this post. Tracy, thank you so much for your time. You are absolutely uh, just an inspiration. And uh, if there's anything I can ever do for you, please let me know. Well, honey, like attracts like. And as we both know, realtors get free with the XP. Amen. Well, this is Robert Whitekelt with another episode of Whitekelt Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.